Too often, the students are apathetic when it comes to the topic of government. As a teacher, it's my job to show students that, for a certain cost, government provides safety and services. Given the current national and international climate on issues of war and terrorism, safety is at the forefront of the minds of many. What keeps us safe, in fact, are government agencies and institutions. The largest of these institutions, the military, comprise of divisions including the Army, Marines, Navy, and Air Force, keeps us safe by engaging in combat abroad. The National Guard aids citizens in America during times of crisis. Additionally, national security agencies like the CIA work to protect us from terrorist threats and cybercrime on an international scale. Locally, government employs police officers to keep streets and neighborhoods safe from criminals and firefighters to keep people safe when buildings are engulfed in flames. Government provides services that we use almost daily. The most basic service is transportation. The government pays for our roads, highways, bridges, and oftentimes subsidizes improvements to public transportation like buses and trains. The most vital government resource for young people is education. The government pays for K-12 public education, including teacher salaries, building repairs, technological advancements, bus transportation to and from school, and free or reduced lunches for low-income students. State legislatures subsidize college costs at public universities like IU and Purdue, while the federal government offers student loans to help young people earn a degree and have a better chance of economic success as adults. Along the lines of self-improvement, the government provides a social safety net for the poor, including services such as food stamps, public housing, and Medicaid that help the economically disadvantaged get back on their feet during times of hardship. You may not be thinking about it now, but your elder years are inevitable. The uncertainty surrounding these years is minimized by government programs like Medicare and Social Security, which ensure that seniors have health care and a stipend with which they can pay for their housing and food. On a local level, government provides the basic, useful, and even life-saving services of snow removal, leaf removal, recycling, public libraries, and public parks. A final way a government affects the lives of everyone is how it pays for safety and services. Taxes. The government collects income tax from paychecks to pay for national services like the military, education, health care, a safety net, and entitlement programs. Property taxes on your house help pay for local services like schools, police officers, firefighters, libraries, and parks. And sales tax on almost everything you buy help pay for upgrades in local transportation and improvements to your state and city, like the recent completion of Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis. So as you can see, even if you cannot care less about your American government class, you should care because no matter what you choose to do after high school, government will affect nearly every aspect of your life. Whether willingly or not, you will be con contributing to your local, state, and national governments in one way or another. In return, the government will provide you with safety and services, so it would behoove you to be aware of these services provided so that you can best use them to your full advantage in order to improve your overall quality of life.